Christiana, your local news leader. This is KLFY News 10 at 10. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. Friends and family members of the first victim in a triple murder suicide this week honored him with a balloon release this evening. Authorities say 29 year old Ross Chasson was the first person Andres Jamal Felix killed Tuesday in a shooting spree that left four people dead, including the gunman. News 10's Britt LaFasso spoke with Chasson's family members about their sudden and devastating loss. Friends and family of Russ Chasson met right here at the very home where he was killed on Tuesday to remember and celebrate his life. I'll miss him, but I promise, I, I made a promise to him that I would be strong. Be strong and I'll always love him, no matter he would, what. He would want us to be strong. Dozens of people attended the vigil, releasing black and red balloons, Ross's favorite colors, in his honor. It's hard. It's, it's, it's hard. It's hard. But we're trying to make it, you know. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Mm -hmm. it. Chasson's sister and aunt say his murder has been hard on their entire family, but the hardest part is not understanding why. They say they wish they had the chance to ask Andres Jamal Felix why he killed Chasson. They add, however, they do forgive him. They now want to focus on remembering Chasson for who he was, not how he was taken from them. I just want to have people to remember him as Ross. As Ross, because he would give you his shirt off his back. Ross Chasson's family describes him as a person who was always smiling and loved everyone. They say he loved eating, fishing, and being with his family, especially his two daughters, only 10 and 13 years old. As a mother, grandmother, I always tell you kids you love them, no matter what. No matter what they've done or no matter what you've done, I always say I love you. Always. And I always put God first. Because you never know when you it's the last know. day. You just never know. On Saturday, there will be a balloon release for another one of the victims, Paige Lewis. Reporting in Lafayette, Britt LaFosso, KLFY News 10.